Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Keo and welcome back for another video. Today is more of a tutorial video. As you see by my thumbnails, I think they're all very cool. And you know, if you're making a Fortnite video, you want to have a Fortnite thumbnail, an awesome Fortnite thumbnail. So today I'm going to teach you how to make your own in Blender and Photoshop. You can also use Pixlr or like some free um, Photoshop sort of software, but yeah, all the links will be down in the description and a few packs for you guys. So yeah, let's get it. First, you gotta download Blender. I'll, again, a link will be in the description, but I've already got it, so I'm gonna open it up. When you open up Blender, you'll just see this. It would you'll just be greeted by this. So I like to just click off the side, drag, uh, just literally left click and drag. Highlight these and hit X and enter. That's just gonna delete these. So now you have. An easy little work surface here okay so first you want to get your model so you want to go file append so as soon as you go file append uh, you go work out where your models are I've only got a few here the rest of them in a different folder so today we're gonna to go for a kind of basic one okay so I'm just gonna use a, a renegade raider okay we're just gonna use renegade raider I'm gonna highlight these two so what I did is I clicked on renegade raider I hit object, then I highlight these two, then I hit append from library. As you see, it's all zoomed in. Just use scroll to zoom in and out. And use this tool here. I'm just going to use X, bring me forward, zoom in a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, it's just white and all those like, dots and lines, they're actually her bones or armature, as we like to say. And these are the things that you can move. We come in right hand side, it says viewport shading. Just make sure you click on that, and that'll bring in all the texture and like the actual skin. And as you can see, it looks pretty normal. Okay, okay, we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that, but anyway, so now you just want to like if it's for a client, you just go ask what sort of video, check the video out if you can, then work from there. Otherwise you can just have free flow so this was gonna get her holding a deagle and like a bit of a weird like angry face on her so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit one of the bones go over to this point and hit pose mode okay guys now you're in pose mode we can actually start working so what i like to do first is like your facial expression like i said i'm gonna make her look angry so that's like tormenting the opponent so i'm just scrolling into her face right here as you can see, she just looks a bit normal. So, angry face, what is it? Your eyes are ever so slightly like squinted and your eyebrows are down, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit on this joint here, which I know is the eyebrow. I'm going to come over to rotate tool on the left hand side. And I'm going to use the Y axis to uh, rotate. I'm going to make that go down a little bit, okay? So, I like that sort of angle. I'm going to do the same on the right hand side. Okay, now I'm going to hit, go to this move tool here. I'm just going to drag it down ever so slightly. Okay, so like the eyebrows are down. And this middle tool, you know, does these bits. I'm just going to drag that down ever so slightly. Okay, so eyelids. So either side, I'm going to use the bottom one just to drag him up. Drag him up, as you can see. Uh, top, you don't really need to, but you can if you want. With the mouth, I'm gonna make it just smile from the side of her mouth. Okay, so I'm just gonna lift these bits up. Okay, so she's looking at you like you're mine. Okay, these bits are your cheekbones. I'm just gonna raise them up only ever so slightly, so it doesn't look all weird and everything goes off. Okay, so now you have the face done. So what I like to do, if I'm especially if I'm working with hands and a gun, so like of course you need. Um, your three bottom fingers, so your pinky, your ring finger, and your middle finger to be like wrapped around the gun. Index finger to either be through the actual uh, like trigger point or uh, straight, which I'm probably going to do today. A lot of people have been doing that lately and I have noticed that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to fingers. I like to go from this sort of angle here. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the middle finger, hit the rotate tool. I'll put this sort of angle so I can see and use the green to put this little bit up here. I'm going to do that on every finger except from the um, index. 
Okay, so now they're all like even-ish. And now I'm gonna grab this one, apart from Knuckle, and I'm just gonna put that about there. Uh, oh, I've just done that. See. Oh, by the way, guys, if you wanna go back, it's uh, Control Z, and it will go back to how you wanted it. I'm gonna click on this bit of armature, and again, bring it up to a similar point. And again for the pinky, I like it to be very accurate and very um, in the same sort of position, like all the fingers. As you can see, they are uh, from this sort of angle. They look a bit skewed, but we're not going to be working from that angle. I'm actually going to straighten up the index finger, by the way. So as you can see, I'm just going to come down to this point, straighten up a little that bit of finger, go to this bit, straighten it up again, I'm actually going to use the, this point here to just straighten that, and just straighten that, again we can like sort out the whole knuckle in a minute, there we go, so we're just going to go from here, so now I'm going to bring the elbow, uh, the shoulder up, so slightly, I'm going to bring this up and in a little bit. I'm actually going to bring that back and then bring this up just a little bit more. Okay, so I have the sort of thing. I've got this sort of feel right here. So now we're going to bring the deagle in. So to do that, I'm going to put this back in object mode. And then I'm just going to hide the armature just so I can do it. I'm going to go File Append again, I'm going to go back and find the Deagle, which is right here. Again, you want to go to Object, then this one has a different view, just use this bottom two, the AO and the MO. I'm going to append that from Library also. So, as you see, that little dot just here, that is the Deagle. So, we go Hold S and click and drag up as well. To whichever size you like. About there seems reasonable. Then I'm going to use the move tool to bring it up. Bring that out. So that's about a right size. Um, you may make it bigger, but that looks pretty much perfect. So this is where you just want to like mess with it a little bit. Uh, you can mess with the angle of how it's held. So I'm actually going to bring that just like down a little bit. And as you can see, it already looks like it's been held properly. But again, I'm going to flatten these knuckles, this bit here. And that should be alright. Make sure it's not like digging in. So like, as you can see, yeah, it's like digging in a little bit. So I'm just going to bring it up only ever so slightly. Now I'm going to deselect that and hide that armature as well. Okay, actually, I'm going to bring that down just a little bit. Perfect. Right, so I'm going to hide that. I'm going to click this armature. Make sure it's yellow, so you just want to click on the actual thing. And then go to pose mode. Again, so now I'm going to click on this knuckle. And just bring it in. And just going to lever it up. Do that. Do that. See, the, because it's the sort of angle we're going for, you're not going to be able to see it too much, so it does, it's not really a big deal. Okay, now the thumb. So, as you can see, the thumb is at a little bit of a weird angle. So, I'm going to click on the thumb am amateur. I'm just going to bring that down a little bit. Uh, we can probably bring it in. Um, we bring it to about here. So, that also, if I come around here, clears up the back. And as you see, it's still out a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I've changed my mind. I'm actually going to put this finger through. So I'm just going to bring that around like this. That go down. Just edit that down. Uh, this one, I'm actually going to like just move down like so. So that's sort of angle. As you can see, it's going through the trigger. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab this bit. Uh, no, not that bone. 
yeah, this bone. Bit of rotate tool. I'm gonna go to roughly how I want her body. Yeah, this is a very stiff one, but it's just to show you. I'm gonna bring her head towards us. I'm gonna mess with these sort of angles to make her like look down, okay? Look down but at us. Okay. And if you just wanna click off here, you can. So I quite like that, so I'm gonna... Yeah, so I like how this is all positioned. I'm gonna go put the camera angle like this. Okay, so easy if you have it to sort of wait how you like it, then just go add here and add camera. It will put it at the angle that you are at. So if you hold S and put it up, let's make it bigger. And bring that back and put it up. Okay, we're just doing some adjustments. Oh, by the way, to toggle uh, the camera, just hit here. <clears throat> okay, as you can see, that's okay, but we've got these. So I'm going to just edit for rotate. Again, you can just use this tool just there. Bring that back. Perfect. We're going to add a HDRI, or you can use... Um, any type of light you want, but if you want to use this one, you go shade editor and where it says objects, you go click world. And if it doesn't come up, then make sure you hit use nodes and these will come up. You go to add texture, environment texture, hit open, find where your HDR riser. I'm going to use approach in storm 4K, hit OK, and I'm going to join the color to color. So this is going to add the light, so what I'm going to quickly show you is if you come over here, you see how much lighter it is? Like this is just a park, like it looks weird, but this is, so you see how like dark, that brightens it up. So I'm going to use that, but you just want it as this background, you don't want all that sort of background. So go come over to the right hand side and where it says context render. You go click on that, make sure it's not EV. You go to cycles, then where it says device, hit GPU compute, and this just makes it 10 times better as a render. Then where it says render, I'm just going to, you can do this as much as you like, but just for the sake of video, I'm just going to put 200, then viewport, I'm going to put it as 50. Then, okay, so you want it to be transparent as a PNG, so you go hit film, and you make sure you click the transparent otherwise just go render with um the other background but as you can see this is how it'll render so you see it's all like pixelated it won't be pixelated when you render okay so i'm gonna hit render up here then hit render image so i'll be back with you when it's all rendered okay so it's finished rendering you uh, to save it go hit image save as and just save wherever you like i have a folder with all my pngs I'm just going to name this um, tutorial. I just spelled that totally wrong, but who cares? Save image. So now you want to open up your photo editing software. For me, it is Photoshop. So I'll meet you in Photoshop. Okay, so as I'm in Photoshop, I'm just going to hit File, Open, then Find what I just made. So as you see, I've got tons. So we're going to go to Tutorial right here. And as you can see, it's quite boring. Okay, so we've got to add a background. But first, what I like to do is get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to add a new layer, which is down here. Come to here and just put sort of color. And I'm just going to put it to black. So the background is just black. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit more light in and make it stand out a little bit. So a bit of color correction. So I'm going to come up to this bit here, which is called... Does it show? It's adjustment layer. So I'm going to hit curves, and up here we can mess around with like the curves of lighting. So I'm going to go to about this point and just bring it to how I like it. Bring that, then I'm going to come up to another point, bend it back, or I can put it all the way forward. I'm going to put it to about there, and again I'm going to hit on that. I'm going to hit vibrance, and just turn up the vibrance. 
As you see, it makes it just look a little bit more better. I'm going to bring it up to about 73. Saturation, it goes a bit orangey, so I'm just going to put it to about 41. Again, I'm going to go down to hue and saturation. Hue, you can mess around with like colours of random things. But I'm just going to leave it on zero if it will let me... I was putting... Uh, if I hit undo modifier... Okay, so now saturation, I can do this again. I'm just going to even it out a little bit. Okay, that looks fine like this. Lightness, I don't mess with on here at all. So, edit, undo. Right, bet. So, now we've got this sort of style. I'm going to add a background, so I'm going to go file, open. And I've got a thing called backgrounds. It's also got weird things in it. Uh, so, I'm just going to open my Fortnite background. Um, I'll put a link in the description to where you can find tons of these. Okay, I love this one. So I'm gonna on my keyboard. I'm gonna hit Control C, which would go. Uh, sorry, Control A, Control C, which will copy this and come to this layer and go Control V. Okay, so as you see, it's too small. So I'm gonna hit Control T, drag, drag this up to the corner, and hold Shift as I drag so it does not like go weird. Okay, um, that didn't work. Control T, hold Shift, and just drag it. So I'm going to put it to about here. I'm also going to put it at a slight angle and just make sure these corners are filled. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to add like a, a slight blur. So you go filter, blur. I like Gaussian blur. So you can mess around, you can make it so it's pretty much mess around, but about here is that down a little bit. Okay, then I'm gonna hit OK. I'm gonna drag that underneath our layer here. So as you see, the effects also go into the background which makes it pop. Like I honestly love this sort of background and it 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 does look pretty nice in my opinion. So I like to also add like a white burst. Um, so I have this burst here, it's a white burst. So I'm gonna hit all, copy, go to tutorial, V, control T, fits up in this corner. Again, shift, but as you can see, that has like a middle thing. So I'm gonna drag it ever so slightly out of frame and make it so this is behind her. Okay, perfect. So again, you can see these lines, it's very more subtle than it is otherwise. So you can add like a logo or something. So I'm actually gonna add a blender um, logo. So if I just go, oh. Okay, so if I just go to blender logo, images, uh, make sure it's a PNG. You want to find a PNG one and just hit this one, okay. Save image as, uh, save it to wherever you like. I'm just gonna hit backgrounds. Then we'll go back to Photoshop, go file, open, find your logo, hit all, copy, control V, control T, shift, drag down to whatever size you like. Um, a bit up here. I'm actually going to put this above because I don't want it to be oh, oh, actually. Oh yeah, I'm going to put it like here. And I am going to put like a little stroke around it. So you effects and hit stroke. I'm going to put like a white thing around it. Okay, so I'm going to put this logo here. Um, I actually might put it behind her. Yeah, so like the gun's covering it ever so slightly. So you can just mess around with your positioning, and then text. Uh, I'm just gonna put word all in capitals with Burbank big. So blender uh, exclamation mark. So we're gonna add like a little rotation to this. Yeah, okay. Drag that down to about there. Again, we're going to go effects. We're going to go to gradient overlay. 
and you can mess around so I'm just gonna make one real quick so using like whatever in here so I'm just gonna use that point of her um, that point of her if that makes sense then this color I'm gonna use this sort of point um, I might actually just bring that down now I'm gonna make it like a deep red Hit OK then we also go hit stroke make sure it's a white stroke because it pops up more okay so as you can see that looks perfect in my opinion guys if you would like today's video please leave a big thumbs up and also comment down below if you want to see other ones um i'm still learning this myself so please be easy on me <laughs> but yeah guys thanks so much guys please check out all the socials also check out my team uh, it's not my team i'm just part of the team team viable like up and coming we're 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 on there baby so yeah make sure you check it out and i'll see you next time guys i love you peace